Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome to you know, the ever required video about of course the new Pokemon that got revealed, news that was implied with it and of course the C moves that got showcased. Now before going in, I hate making these kind of videos depending on how you want to see it, but I hate making these videos in that fashion that it's view whoring. It's definitely view whoring, so I'm trying to upload later because I kind of don't want to be a part of that group that does it early because they all say the same thing and I actually want to look at what I, you know, really, really take in what I'm looking at and then try to uh, get around to it, like what are my real thoughts about it and whatnot. And also, for everybody who's made that Harambe joke with, of course, the orangutan Pokemon, just stop. It's a dead meme already. You know, it, it's definitely there with, you know, damn Daniel. Like, they're equal as bad, if not even worse. So I'm just get, get it out there. It's a freaking orangutan. Know your ape. Anyway, um, you guess should go over them a little bit. Now, obviously, the first one of the Lickin' Rock, like, I really like Lickin' Rock. Um, I think Lickin' Rock is a really cool Pokemon. Now, it comes to pass, you know, what... How are we gonna say this name? As of right now, you know, Lickin' Rock seems kind of weird. Lizan Rock sounds, guess, better. But uh, we have yet to actually see that. And of course, Lickin means happy in Swedish, which only makes the uh, happy rock. And I really believe a, a wolf is not that happy. <laughs> but anyway, the first one here, of course, the Midnight Form, definitely got the short end of the stick. Now, we haven't seen a hidden ability yet, and I feel that that's the most important part, because obviously, they're going, they wouldn't have focused on its defensive capabilities and counter if it wasn't for that they had something in mind. I'm pretty sure our hidden ability is going to be something like Solid Rock or anything like that. Now, it doesn't look particularly bulky, which is kind of kind of weird, but we just have to see. Um, I definitely wouldn't like to see this thing becoming, or becoming the worst. Of the evolution, one could hope that actually it's three stage rev evolutions, but um, yeah, I think this is a final form. But if it isn't, then that would be kind of cool. They just continue with it. But yeah, not seen Rock Dark. Eh, I really thought it was gonna be a Dark type. Missed opportunity there. Would have been very very unique, while um, not the best, the most good typing. It still would have been sort of unique with it. And, you know, that is what it is, nothing to it. Then, of course, Lizan Rock's uh, other evolution, which is by far the superior, both design-wise in my regard, and uh, basically what it can do. Getting Sand Rush is... it's a big deal. Uh, for me, that's a big deal. Me being a big fan of Stoutland and Sand Slash and Excadrill, and though mostly Stoutland, of course, being the fault and whatnot, I really like the idea of having another mod, now Rock-type, as a sand rusher. Now here's the thing, it doesn't look like it's necessarily slow. Um, it, it feels like it's gonna be a, a fast Pokemon anyway. You know, if it hits the base 90, then it's understandable to get in sand rush. I could actually get behind that. And of course, a Zelda Rock being, of course, one of the new moves it gets is a quick attack based uh, uh, rock type move, which is actually extreme. That's a game changer for whatnot. For a lot of Pokemon who actually are weak to, well, obviously, rock. Um, the first that comes to mind is like every quiver dancer is now dead by default. Like it doesn't matter how much you set up, you're still screwed. So Volcarona, you know, probably gonna shield in UU for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, that that's really all we get from it. It looks still super super fragile, but um, I still think the rock typing is a good defensive typing. It has a lot of weaknesses, mind you. But uh, it could work around that. Not having dual typing might be bad. Um, since I do believe rock type with offensive typing is one of the best. But it also needs coverage. The best coverage is of course ground. But we already got plenty of those. And it's actually a terrible combination of typings. But yeah, I think that's about it. Like I can't really say much more about it. It looks like to be you know, a faster variant basically of a mod. So you know, I, I feel fine with it. Uh, then we we'll have uh, Oranguru, if I remember correctly. Yes, and, uh, of course, uh, Orangutan Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, just, I'm just gonna say this throughout the bat: people were so celebrating the typing combination, and I feel like people are completely disregarding that Melwet and Yurafuri already had this typing, 
And the normal psychic is not a good typing. It, it definitely isn't. People are celebrating in the court. Oh, but immunity ghost. Yeah. Also, you know, loses the immunity or the resistance to physical moves, such as, of course, um, close combat, which means that for a psychic type, it's not a counter for fighting types at this regard. Though, we have yet to see the stats, of course. But, um, yeah, don't count me as one of those who are going to see this as a game changer. Now, we got a new move, which actually makes the Pokemon uh, um, repeat its move, basically, if you're playing doubles. Which is kind of cool to get with telepathy, of course, of avoiding uh, any hit that is on all the Pokemon, you know, the likes of Surf and whatnot. So I like the way to showcase that. Uh, I think that's going to be extremely important. But I also saw, like, opportunities such as, you know, Double Draco with uh, White Hub and stuff like that. You know, it, it could do some dumb shit. Now, one could only hope that it's, um, this ability only applies to attacking move and not status boosting moves. Because if that's the case, and seeing somebody going for Quiver Dance twice, uh, and that's kind of nasty. Like, I really hope there are limitations to this move, because if not, then it's actually going to be a very, very scary move in VGC, mind you. I um, hope it gets some better uh, moves for, of course, or hidden ability for um, standard plays, because if not, then this guy might actually be as good or bad as your FRA, because I don't see this thing becoming better than Meloetta. It's definitely looking, looking like it's going to be faster than Meloetta. Uh, one of the biggest issues with Meloetta is the speed in the first place, so if this is, isn't gonna get faster, then the Volk is really not gonna save it from, of course, the lack of, I do believe, Dark and Bug moves hitting it super effectively. But that's my thought of it. I actually like the design. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to see this Pokémon, but I'm probably not gonna see it because I'm getting Sun due to, of course, the Lusan, Lusan Rocks evolution. Now, the last one is definitely the least favorable of these. Uh, now here's the thing though, we got that Rugby Ape Pokemon, though it obviously is, um, oh those monkeys from Madagascar that like to move it, move it. Oh I can't, Lemur, I think Lemur or something like that is gonna call it in English. But, uh, so it's a type of ape, yes, but um, not that ape-ish. But yeah, Rugby Monkey, anyway, ape, it's not a monkey. No, no, this is a monkey. The other one is ape. Never mind. Human features are trying to kind of distinguish them. But um, yeah, Pasiman, if I say that right, looks like to be like this. Looks like it to be a final stage Pokemon. So was it with Huron Guru too? So I hope to have a smaller evolution. But this being a Soul Fire type is quite interesting. Uh, didn't expect that. I was hoping when I saw it to be you know a Grass fighting maybe. Uh, I was thinking Grass Dark. When I saw it, but obviously that got like dispatched or <laughs> proven wrong in a second. But uh, I have really not much to say about it. Uh, it looks like it become another fast fighting type, and that is always nice. Feels kind of unnecessary, but um, it has a, a unique ability, which is only unique in doubles. I don't know whether or not if it KOs a Pokemon, if it gets that ability too. I kinda hope it does, like if you kill a Pokemon and you snag their ability while they stay fall, that would be the only purpose of this ability to be relevant, because if not, then it's gonna be pretty shitty. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty shitty. But um, that's about it, like not a big news on that one. And then we got of course into the C moves, now I'm just gonna go over them real quick, and I don't feel I have to showcase, uh, showcase them themselves. All I can say is Pikachu's C move, whatever, Eevee's <laughs> C move, kinda funny, kinda cool. Um, the thing with Eevee is that of course it gets Baton Pass and uh, Stored Power, so it might actually be usable to some point, but um, for the people who have been saying, oh, but now it's so viable because it gets stat boost in everything. It's still a little cut Pokemon, it's still a Pokemon that I do believe is below 350 base, you're not gonna see a damage output on that, I'm sorry. You're not gonna develop Eevee to be something viable by being plus two, that's that's not how it works. And uh, I see it's very likely that Eevee, you know, it it become as cool as Meryl becomes with huge power. Which is, it might hurt, sure, but it still dies. So, yeah, don't buy into the Eve hype as of right now at least. If, 
if they're you know, raising its stats, something like that, that just maybe. But um, for me, Eevee is just simply a first stage Pokemon that is very underwhelming, even with adaptability or not. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's screwed from start. The only viable thing is going to be, of course, about and pass it to something else. And then pretty much say GG. Like, if, if they're keeping the VGC formula with, of course, VGC 16, but of course, Legendary is a part of the game, then uh, even bad and passing that to a Legendary, yeah, that's gonna be freaking rough. But that's the only way I see it being viable. So, anyway, that's all about the C moves. Now, the last part, of course, and being the most relevant one, we're gonna get Pokebank late. You're gonna, or we're going to have Pokebank, of course, throughout or during November to February. To between games, of course, being um, Black to uh, or Generation 5 to 6. No issue there whatsoever. The thing is, Generation 5 from 7 or 5 or 6 to 7 is gonna be late. And, you know, I don't buy into the concept that, you know, it's gonna be a late because we have to fix a lot of things, mm, like supporting the, the formula and, you know, Sun and Moon uh, being required uh, or. To get, of course, red, blue, yellow games, uh, Pokemon into the Sun and Moon games. That is just bullshit. It is bullshit. They revealed this a year ago, basically, or in February, if I assume correctly. So, this is a <laughs> very, very, um, what do you say? This is something they actually wanted. This is something they were aiming to. They want to see how the game develops without any kind of, um, well, I'm going to say hacks, but that's not the case. But... They want to see how healthy the meta, I guess, is without uh, the boost from previous Pokemon, just standalone Pokemon as it is. And I can go back that decision. I could actually go so far and say that I agree that it would, that would be a nice switch. I actually like X and Y a lot when uh, Generation 5 Pokemon wasn't a part of the game. Having that said, I think they should have said that instead of, oh, we just, it takes so much time to develop this. It's a freaking transportation that you guys have been developing since you started this game three years ago. Just spare me the bullshit and say it as it is. It's a freaking cheap cop out of not revealing the truth. And for my regard, it's actually a shitty way to do it. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I do believe they're, they say it's scheduled to January, but if you guys remember correctly, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a February thing of this, and it's not because I want to see February because of, uh, well, it, it was kind of cool, but Pokebank actually got pushed back a lot uh, from the get-go, when of course they did the formulas and whatnot, so pretty sure it's going to be a late, uh, or later than it was before. Now, I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong, but it's something to keep in mind. Uh, now, the reason this is a good thing is, of course, there were a lot of pocket tubers from Generation 5 to 6 that was completely irrelevant uh, when the meta started in X and Y, mostly because they didn't know how to breed, such as, of course, Pikachu. Uh, I do believe Muldavon was one of those who couldn't, you know, he, he only took uh, players' Pokemon instead because he couldn't breed his own, he didn't know what it he, what he was doing. Um, Shofu was one of the few players I actually respected during this period where he did breed his Pokemon, you know, he, he settled for almost good, basically, and he did his battle anyway, and actually had some variety, I do believe Pimp Knight had the same, but well, a lot of pocket tubers that definitely uh, wasn't showcasing their variety, that didn't have the time or didn't have the skill to breed Pokemon. Uh, I myself actually didn't get a capture or a power bank and capture card, actually, um, since uh, Ruby and Sapphire, you know, jokes on me there, but uh, I didn't really need power save at that point, and uh, I don't necessarily need it now either, but um, power save is, is helpful. So power save is going to be any way I want to twist it, uh, while Pokebank is going to be unavailable. Um, power bank is still going to uh, power save is still going to be as effective as it always has been. So it's still going to be easy to fix EVs and whatnot. So yeah, don't get um, the deal for it. But I really really like the idea of um, waiting it out a little bit and see how. The game develops because that is going to bring smoke onto a different kind of area. That's going to bring um, uh, any lead to a different kind of area. Do one draft before Pokebank comes out and whatnot. So, yeah, it's cool. I, I love it. I think it's it's a good way of making people accustomed to the new meta as it evolves. Because once that hits off, things are going to get even more interesting. And also, I just realized a lowland Pokemon is not going to be the standard Pokemon for a few Pokemon. You're not going to get regular sand slash in x and y or i mean sun and moon till february basically so that's something to keep in mind 
Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Like those are my thoughts and something I kind of saw with this. And uh, I really like to share my thoughts when it comes to these kinds of video because it's so easy for people to just focus on the Pokemon and see moves and kind of forget about you know everything else. And there are a lot of things that are going on that we should focus more on because the game is out in two months and. It, there are only so many things that are going to get showcased now, from here on out, basically. Uh, so, very much <laughs> watch. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and, well, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.